next guest is the founder of Hi Ho Batik, a unique shop in Miami where you can not only buy the adorable t-shirts that you see here in back of me, I love these t-shirts, uh, where you're, you and your kids can also try your hand at making them yourselves. Please welcome Julia Silver Gordon to show us how these t-shirts are created. Hey Martha. So, I've, I've never really batik and I'm very anxious to learn how. So what is our first step? Well, it's very easy. All you need to start is a marker and a piece of paper. Right. That's how we do our stencils. And these templates are on our website uh, so that you can try this at home. and. Uh, and, and, and otherwise, you could also just dry your own. That's the best yeah. part about doing okay. these things at yeah. home. Okay. So you put the design inside the shirt, and these shirts and, oh, are... Oh, you're using Hi Ho Batik shirts. I wonder yes, where you get those. We, yeah, exactly. Ah. You can get them on our website, yeah, HiHoBatik.com. Fan fantastic. And these shirts are pre-treated, which you could buy off our site, or at home, you could set them yourself. So basically, you take your pen and just dip it in. Okay, that's my fill, pen. Fill the bowl with wax. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh. And you just use it... Just like as you were tracing. Oh, I see. And you hold that? No. Oh. Well, you hold this to, to, to catch the drips. But okay. what you're going to be doing is just tracing over the design. Okay. And you want to make sure... And a few drips sure, here and there. Yeah, you know, but th that's the beauty of the shirt. No two are alike. And that's, I think, the best part about high ah. batik. So really, you're using wax to cover the fabric where this color won't go. Yes, exactly. Okay. The wax resists the dye and gives you your... And so when you run out, you refill it, right? Exactly. Okay. And you want to make sure that the wax penetrates the shirt so that you get your nice white line. And it's really fun because... This is not so easy. The, op the options are endless. Oh, my gosh. I'm making sort of a mess. Wow. Well, you, you know what? They turn out beautiful. I have kids coming to my store in Miami making these shirts. And uh, if kids can do this, I should be able yeah, to do this. Yeah, and, and, and no, I, no matter yeah, what... Yeah, they, they always ah. turn out beautiful, even, even the little mistakes. So, once we're done tracing design... How do you design, stop the yes. wax from pouring out of this little hole thing? Um, well, what I like to do is just kind of keep it... Half full? Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell but, me that. Well, sorry. <laughs> you did but, not tell me that. But no. Who am I going to give this t-shirt to? Wow. I'm going to have to keep this. This is not going to have any image on it at all. Just a big ball of wax. No, they come, they come out beautiful, Martha. You know that about making your own crafts, no two are alike, and the mistakes make it, make it your own. Yeah, Martha's mess. <laughs> okay, so now, once you have your I'm line down. I'm a perfectionist. Down, I know, well, the batik is a very forgiving craft, but you're gonna have to let okay. the perfectionism kind of go out the window okay, so when I you do this one. Maybe. Okay, so the next step is, once your design is down, you, you remove this. Oh, I must, I forgot, no. And okay. You go on oh, to look. the next step. It actually worked. It looks pretty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next step. The next step. The next step is painting. Oh, so we, we just, we're going to let that one dry. Yeah, we let this one dry. Okay. The wax dries pretty, pretty okay. fast. So here. So the next step is painting. And these dyes work as watercolors. You're going to want to put newspaper or craft paper in between the shirt just to make sure it doesn't get on the back. Okay. And... Now, is the, dye, is the wax a dye color, too? The wax actually gives you the white line. Oh, okay. So, so or it's a white shirt. Exactly. So the wax is, is resists anything that you're going to put down. So if you want to put dye over that white line, go ahead. It's not going to make... It, it's not going to cover up your white line. Okay. So you're filling in the, the spaces. Right. And see, you know... You don't, have to, very, you don't have to follow directions. These are difficult brushes. You could go out of the lines. These are hard to use. Well, how come you're not using nice little paint brushes? Well, actually, these sponge brushes are... Once you get them a little wet, they, they work a little easier. But these are nice because they're sponge, and I like the way that the dye flows out of them and gets into the shirt. Okay. I think I've, I've found it works the best. And the regular paintbrush doesn't really... The dye doesn't really adhere to it. Oh, I see. What so, kind of dye is this? This is fabric dye. This is, you know, just your basic fabric dye. Special high ho batik dye. Yes, special high ho batik dye, okay. and you could find that on our website. Okay. Okay. So, so now, why does mine look so dark compared to that one? We'll throw some yellow in there. Oh, I forgot. You have to blend it up. Oh, I see. But you know, you don't have to stick to our to our colors. Mine's you can a make much it more your own. vibrant flame. Yeah, it's a very hot baseball. Yeah. 
It's coming wow. in hot. So this is like a flying baseball. Exactly. His boys will like this shirt, right? Yes, boys love the flying baseball. Okay. And they personalize it. You could add your name. You could add numbers to it if you want to add your team number. It's a fun thing that kids do a lot at the store. Mm, I like this. Okay, now what? Okay, so now once the paint is down, you set that aside to dry. And the drying time, you know, it varies on where you are, how hot or cold your house is, I suppose. And next we get to our step where you wax over the shirt. Wax and over so, the whole thing? Yeah, you're going to take the oh. paintbrush and once it's dry, mm. keep, keep your newspaper inside that. Now though. I'm liking this because I can see it. Okay. But, but you know, Martha, we have to dye the shirt now or else it's just okay. going to be a okay. white shirt with wax. Oh, we so don't want that's that. how you get, oh, the shirts yeah. are dyed. Oh, and I And so see. it's really fun. We so have a store in Miami where we do this. So now we're painting over just the painted area. Just the painted area, exactly. Oh, okay, including the baseball? No. Yeah, including the baseball. You're going to want it white. The whole baseball? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so at our store. Oh, so that's why everything has a clear outline. Yes, so that keeps all the dye oh, inside. I see. Oh. Yeah. And so when we do this, at our store, we come up with like endless variety. How big a party can come areas. into your store? How many kids? Uh, we've had two kids to 40 kids, and oh we're really God. excited because we're a lot. Yeah, but we're really excited because we're starting a franchise. How do you do that? Well, like we, I can open one in Katona. You could open one in Katona. You want oh, to? Nikki's, I love Nikki's it. Nikki's gonna move to Katona. What, right, what a Nikki? perfect person to own. You want to have a Katona. baseball dying? I mean, a nice little batik shop with me. Sure, I love in it. Katona. It's great for baby showers. We do things oh for God. babies. We can do that on weekends when we have nothing else to do. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. It's relaxing. <laughs> so once this wax is done, we're okay. gonna take this. Do you think I did it right? I think you did it beautiful. And we're gonna dye this, and here's Don't patronize the finished me. product. Oh, come on, Martha. You're, you're the queen of crafts. How can I do that? And this is the finished product. Okay, so there. So this goes into the dye, and then it comes out like that. That's what mine is gonna look like. That's great. Yeah, what fun, it really is fun. And yours looks beautiful. And it is the, now how do you get the wax out? You wash it in your washing machine. The wax is biodegradable. It will not hurt your machine. It won't? No. It won't coat the... No, no. It, it the disappears. The washer itself? Okay. It disappears, yeah. Oh, it it's, it's, it's a good, nice, earth-friendly wax. Well, so. I cannot wait to try it at, at uh, my new shop in Katona. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Julia. This is a lot of fun. Thank you.